Good morning friends, welcome back to Panika Tutorials. In the last few videos, I have defined what is a data science. What is a data science? Data science is a science of collecting, storing, processing, describing and modeling of data. And even I have discussed how to collect the data and how to store the data. I hope you have watched those videos. If you did not watch those videos or if you don't know those concepts, I request you to go back and watch those videos and come back to this video. In this video, I want to discuss how to process the data in detail. So I request everyone to watch the complete video for better understanding. In data processing, we'll have the one primary step which is data cleaning. So first we will discuss about data cleaning. Because we will collect the data from various sources or even the data may be existing. But always the data will not be in a proper way. First we need to clean the data. Let me give an examples for data cleaning. The first task in the data cleaning is filling the missed values. Okay, so this is the first thing. Now let me discuss what is the meaning of fill the missed values. Suppose let's take that when you are collecting the data from a college, your task is that you want to identify what is the average age of a students who are studying MBA. Let's take that in a particular state. This is the task you need to do. Now if this is the task when you are collecting the data, what you will do? You will go for all the MBA colleges in the city and then you will collect the data. Am I right? Whenever you are collecting the A's because you need to collect their A's because you want to find the average A's. Suppose let's take that some uh, name is X. His name is X. He has filled his A's as 25. Let's take that. Someone name is Y. He did not fill his A's. He does not want to relieve his A's. Okay, so he did not fill that is and similarly some person Z is there. He has given his A's 24. Suppose similarly someone name is A. He has given his A's as 26. Like that everyone has given but two, three people or some number of students have not given their A's. Now this one we will call it as missed values because we want to find the average A's of the students who are studying an MBA either in a city or in a state. Now when you are collecting the data, few students have not relieved their or revealed their yes. Okay, so this one we will call it as a missed values. If this is the missed values, now we need to fill those missed values. Am I right? One thing is that if you have a large amount of data, suppose let's take that you have 1 lakh students is information. In a state, you want to find the average is. Now you have an information about 1 lakh students. Out of this 1 lakh students, suppose let's take that some 100 students have not given their is. Then what you can do? You have 1 lakh of information. Out of that only 100 students have not given the value. You can ignore this information. Means you can remove these entities. Okay? Are you able to understand? Then a remind, with the remaining information, you can perform the data analytics. Whether you want to find the average or what is the gender, all these things you can look at this with the help of the remaining data. Let's take that you have only less amount of data. Suppose let's take that in a particular state, only some 10,000 students are studying the MBA. You have less data. Out of this one, let's take the 1,000 students have not relieved their is okay in that case what you need to do you need to fill the missed values how can you do it you will compute the one of the way i'm telling you will compute the average of remaining students and that one suppose let's take that with the 10 000, 9 thousand students because out of 10 thousand thousand students have not given their data so with the remaining 9000 students information you will calculate the average suppose let's take it you got the average as 24 then here you will fill the values as 24 wherever the age is missing there you will fill it so if you have a large amount of data 
whenever the values are missing you will ignore them or you will delete them okay if the data is too less then you will use a proper method and fill those values so this is one of the step in the data cleaning and the another thing is that second one is identifying and removing outliers outliers plays a major role okay suppose let's take that when you are collecting the age someone has given their age as zero years suppose y is there he has given his age as zero years suppose similarly b has given his age as 200 years or suppose similarly c has given his age as 10,000 years like that someone has given the values now you can clearly say that one is it clear how you can say a person whose age is zero years or let's take that zero years is not practically possible let's take it one year if it is one year can he study an MBA that is not practically possible am I right or wrong if it is possible then it will become the tenth world means wonder in the world okay are you able to understand it or not similarly 200 years person nowadays we are hardly able to live for 60 70 years how a person can live for 200 years and that too he is studying MBA that is not possible similarly 10,000 that is also not possible am I right so you need to remove these outliers now you can tell me sir you are talking about the years and you are looking at all those values and then you are removing the outliers based on your common sense why because a one year student cannot study an MBA 200 years student cannot live and how he is studying all these things you are using the common sense and apply but every time we cannot apply the common sense if we start applying the common sense what is the need for the data science am I right or wrong so then we will use a few techniques such as one of the technique is box plots okay we use the box plot technique to identify the outliers okay and then we will remove those outliers how the box plot technique will work I will discuss in the coming lectures okay are you able to understand it or not so one of the thing is that filling the missed values identifying and removing the outliers and the next thing is that in the data cleaning you need to correct the spelling mistakes correct the spelling mistakes okay now what is the meaning of it suppose let's take that when you are giving the state name because you want to collect the particular state now let's take that inside the state you want to collect the even the city information of all the students okay now because in a particular state you are collecting students information of belongs to each city suppose let's take that you are collecting the students information who are studying MBA in Chennai now everyone has given their Chennai and someone has given Tiruchi and another guy what he has done is that when he is writing in a hurry he has written the Chennai spelling as like this now this is a spelling mistake there will be a no city inside the Tamil Nadu which is a C H E N A I so by using the common sense they can identify that okay he has to write Chennai but he has written spelling mistake so you need to correct it am i right so you have to add another n so this is what you need to do you need to correct the spelling mistakes is it clear are you able to understand so this is the one of the major tasks in processing the data which is cleaning of data okay then another major task in the processing of data is scaling normalization and standardization so we will discuss each one in detail okay first let me discuss about data scaling or i can say that future scaling okay now let's take that you have a data okay you have the x1 okay is one of the attribute name let's take this okay you have x2 okay you have another attribute and similarly you have x3 like this okay and x4 okay now let's take that this x1 is in terms of a rupees let's take that some information or let's take that this is the petrol 
cost in India. Let's suppose let's take that you are collecting the information in an India in each city. What is the petrol cost? What is the diesel cost? What are the chicken cost and what is the mutton cost? Just I'm giving an example. Suppose let's take that petrol is in rupees. Okay, I don't want to relieve the exact petrol rim rate. Suppose let's take that it is 100 rupees, 110 rupees, something like that. Okay, are you able to understand? Now, X2 is diesel is in terms of rupees. Okay, suppose this is 90, 95 like that in some cities, 90 is there, 95 is there like that you have. Now, chicken cost they have provided in dollars. Okay, they are saying that it is three dollars somewhere it is saying 2.5 dollars like that they are saying and mutton cost also they are saying in rupees now if you look at this attribute it is in terms of units is rupees because each attribute we can represent using units and its magnitude now magnitude is the value 100 like this now the units is in terms of rupees but this one the units is in dollars all other attributes belongs to the money are in the rupees then what you have to do you have to scale this one from dollars to rupees is it clear are you able to do it or not so this is what we can say that is a scaling concept suppose similarly every attribute is in terms of meters but only one attribute is in terms of kilometers then again you need to scale these kilometers to meters so this is what we will do it in the data scaling now let me discuss the next important concept which is normalizing the data okay what is the need for data normalization also i will discuss with you okay let me discuss normalization of data now what is the meaning of normalizing the data is you are scaling the future to zero to one Okay, you are scaling the feature. Okay, feature is nothing but an attribute or a column, the values from 0 to 1 only. Now, what is the need for it? Suppose let's take that in an organization, you are collecting the employee's information. Now, employee's information will have the employee ID. Okay, it will have the employee name. Okay, and you will have the number of kids or the number of dependents and the salary like that you are collecting number of cars they have or the number of vehicles they have is it clear and number of houses they have all these things you are collecting now if you look at the kids the kids will be in the range of or the number of dependents will be in the range of one two some may have three kids but no one will have 100 kids am i right or wrong meaning is that someone may not have the kids they are newly married or that they does not have any dependence so it will be there the values one two three but if you look at the salary the salary will be like one lakh will be there okay and someone will have two lakhs someone is getting ten thousand rupees someone is getting fifty thousand rupees and the number of vehicles also will be again one okay someone may not have the vehicle someone is having one vehicle someone is having two cars like that now if you look at these three attributes if I give these three attributes to the model then the salary will dominate in the model prediction because these values are very high as compared to these two columns values because this is in terms of one two three but this one is in terms of one lakhs two lakhs these values are very high so what you need to do whenever you are predicting something then the salary will dominate in the decision making am i right so that we don't want to do it so that's why we will do the normalization we will bring this salary also in terms of zeros and ones how we will do we will discuss now okay for normalization we, we have a one technique called min max normalization so what is the formula for min max normalization is x minus x min by x max minus x min this is the formula i will use now look at the salary okay now if i take the salary of this person suppose the employee id is x 
okay this salary is 1 lakh so what i will do x is this value 1 lakh okay x is 1 lakh x minimum meaning is that from these four values what is the minimum value 10000 by x maximum take all these values what is the maximum value 2 lakhs okay minus x min again what is the minimum value here 10000 so this formula you will apply so what is the x here is that which value you are taking suppose if you are coming to this row then x will be 2 lakhs x minimum is minimum among these values and the x max is maximum among all these values of this attribute and the x minimum is again minimum so this is the way you will do the scaling of all the values in the salary from 0 to 1 in detail i will discuss in the coming videos okay what is the significance of normalization why we should do the normalization all these things i have discussed okay now let me discuss the next one which is called data standardization or we will say that standardization okay we need to perform the data standardization now then the standardization whenever we are standardizing standardizing the data we are bringing those values min is equal to zero and variance is equal to one those values we want to bring in such a way that or we want to scale such a way that the average mean is what average is equal to 0 and variance is equal to 1. One of the technique to standardize the data is you will apply this procedure x minus mean by standard deviation. Okay, are you able to understand x minus mean minimum? by standard deviation okay so i think you know what is x is nothing but the corresponding value suppose if it is one lakh it is one lakh here minus average of all these things by standard deviation i think everyone know how to compute the average or the mean and how to compute the standard deviation so this is the task you will do it in the data processing one is the cleaning the data in cleaning the data you will first identify the missing values and then you will fill them or you have ignore them okay or delete them and the another one is that identifying and removing the outliers and correct the spelling mistakes and another thing you will do is the data scaling data normalization and data standardization in the coming videos when the corresponding topic comes i will discuss when you should use the data normalization when you should use the data standardization in detail if you still have any doubts related to this concept, feel free to ask me in the comment section. I will try to clear your doubts as early as possible. Thank you for watching the complete video. Have a nice day.